guys, I've been busy lately. This was supposed to be released a day after the Guild Palace Light Bogan video I made, but it's better late than never, I guess. The new Guild Palace Heavy Bowgun is a 10 out of 10 for me. Visually, that is. It's not a game changing gun, but I'm thankful that it's still usable, at least. Let's go over the ammo table. Now, bear in mind that this ammo table is with free element level 3 and with the custom mods applied already. It's a weaker Zora Magdros HPG without sleep and with the fire ammo replaced with water ammo. It's a decent sticky gun, good enough, till you get the Zora Mass Rank HPG. A weird thing about this HPG is the water ammo. It's recoil plus 1 without any custom mods and can reach fast reload with 3 reload assist mods. So is it a potential water cannon anti safi shield HBG? No. I tried though. I tried, but it just sucks. So bad. So sticky is the way. Now for the build, I decided to utilize true spare shot from the three-piece Nargakuga armor. This will be a sticky slash cluster build that can be good in soloing monsters best paired with the Shield Spire Palico gadget. I didn't bother making an Artillery 5 build with the Zora armor pieces because it's really pointless running this gun as a sticky slash cluster type once you have the Zora HPG because you won't have sleep ammo and you'll have way lesser damage. So for the set you'll get attack boost plus 7, card 5, health boost level 3, free element level 3, peak performance level 3, artillery level 3, and guard up. You can put special ammo boost on your mantles as well. This gun would only have 2 per clip on cluster 3s as compared to Zora with 3 per clip. Now for the augments, I suggest prioritizing the health region augment first for better survivability and also for managing peak performance. For the custom mods, go for 2 recoil suppressor mods, 2 reload assist and 1 shield mod. This will get your sticky 3s to high recoil and slow reload same as a Zora HPG. Now for the gameplay, make sure to make use of traps for non-elder monsters, anticipating when the monster will get KO so that you can switch to cluster 3s and take advantage of that opportunity. Usually the first KO happens after 2 to 3 sticky shots to the monster's head, so keep that in mind. One trick I do as well, building up KO while the monster is paralyzed, and then dropping some cluster 3s when it is down. Remember to just chill out. If the monster is engaging you, you have guard 5. Trust your palico to get the aggro, and when safe, go back to pressing that R2. And I almost forgot, feline bombardier is very important. Don't forget to eat it before every hunt. If the video helped, drop a like on it. And subscribe if you're new to the channel. Check me out on Twitch. I do open lobby sessions and everyone is welcome. For fast notification for streams and new content and most importantly have a bunch of cool hunters to chill and hunt with, join the Growing Gun Sexual Discord. Link is at the description below. Thank you for watching, see you in the next one.